Do your students know where fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas are found? Do they know how they're formed or how long that formation process takes? Fossil fuels take millions of years to form and the conditions required for the formation must be just right. Welcome to Split Second Science. In this lesson, we will explore Earth's natural resources and identify the processes that lead to the formation of fossil fuels. We'll support student learning by implementing two of HISD science best practices, interactive notebook and science texts. So how are fossil fuels formed? How is sedimentary rock involved in the formation of fossil fuels? During the millions of years that have passed, dead plants and animals slowly decomposed into organic materials and formed fossil fuels that are found in sedimentary rock. We will first use our interactive notebook to record the processes that led to the formation of fossil fuels. This will allow students to record the content aligned to the day's learning outcomes, utilize it as a reference tool to cultivate thinking, process new ideas, and make connections, and input and revise science content acquired from teacher demos, lectures, and lab experiences. Let's take a look at an explore activity you can use with your students to learn about the formation of fossil fuels using your interactive notebook. In this activity, I will use various ingredients to explore the processes that led to the formation of sedimentary rock and fossil fuels. Prepare the following items in advance for each group in your class. You will need two clear plastic cups and one plastic spoon, six plastic baggies to hold one half cup of the following ingredients, cocoa crispy cereal to represent coal, golden gram cereal to represent limestone, frosted flake cereal to represent shell, fruit loop cereal to represent sandstone. For ancient fish fossils, we will use goldfish crackers, and for dinosaur bones, we will use pretzel pieces. To represent cementation in this process, we will use marshmallow cream. Again, prepare the following items in advance for each group in your class. To model the formation of coal, I've added a layer of crushed cocoa crispy cereals to show how the pressure has crushed these plants. And these plants lived about 300 million years ago. I'm now gonna to go to my science notebook and I have this layer already in my model and I labeled it as coal. For the second layer of the model, we have cementation. I've added a layer of marshmallow cream for cementation, which will harden the loose sediments and cause the rock to become solid. I go back to my science notebook and as you can see, I've labeled this layer as cementation. For the third layer of the model, it's called sandstone and sandstone is represented by crushed fruit loop cereal. And I'm now gonna add a layer of sandstone. And this sand could have been carried by water or wind. Okay, now I have my layer of sandstone. I'm gonna go to my science notebook and I'm gonna label this layer as sandstone. For the next layer, we have shale. And shale is represented by frosted flake cereal and pretzel pieces. I'm gonna add this layer of shale to my model. And now I'm gonna go back to my student notebook and I'm gonna label this layer as shale. For the last and final layer, we have limestone. And limestone is represented by golden gram cereal and goldfish. I'm not gonna add this layer to my model. And limestone is composed of 50 million year old fish and other minerals that can be found on ocean floors. As before, I'm gonna go to my student notebook and I'm gonna label this final layer as limestone. Now my rock layer model is complete. And in the next video, I will model the process that led to the formation of fossil fuels. Here's my completed rock layer model. Now I will use my second clear plastic cup to model the two things that are needed for the formation of fossil fuels, which are heat and pressure. I will place my warm fist inside of this empty cup 
and I will push down hard on top of the rock layer model. Observe what is happening to the bottom layers as the heat and pressure is being applied. And you want to have the students to apply this heat and pressure for at least two minutes and push down as far as possible so that they can see the changes that are happening in the bottom layers to represent the formation of fossil fuels. Ask the students to draw a new diagram that illustrates what the layers will look like after the heat and pressure is applied. Here's an example in my science notebook. This shows that the layers look different and that the layers are now more compacted after heat and pressure was applied. Remind the students that heat and pressure combined to cook the organic materials under the layers and that in most areas, oil is formed first, but in deeper hot regions underground, the cooking process continues until natural gas is formed and the same types of forces also created coal. Be sure to have the students to go back, label and color each layer in their science notebooks. We can also implement science text for this explore activity. Using science text is a way to embed literacy connections within the instructional science block and can be used as part of the explain portion of the lesson. This will allow students to listen actively during read-alouds, apply understanding of concepts and vocabulary through extended learning opportunities, and use text for science research to solve problems and generate questions. It's a good idea to use leveled readers. Usually available in English and Spanish, key content is underlined, vocabulary words are highlighted, and visuals are included. Let's recap what we just learned. We reviewed two of HISD's science best practices, interactive notebook and science text. We learned how to organize the placement of information into the interactive notebook and how to incorporate science text into the science instructional block. We modeled the processes that led to the formation of sedimentary rocks and fossil fuels and how the formation of fossil fuels and sedimentary rock are connected to each other. And we reviewed where oil is found, what it's made of, and how long it takes for fossil fuels to form. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other segments of Split Second Science.